gravity bell for a so far. I was just say, I mean, his arm, uh, just his accuracy, his throwing power, just his deep ball ability, um, very talented arm thrower for sure. So they said the other day, it's a little quicker than one would think to, or when he said he's a little quicker? A little faster than he looks. Somebody said that yesterday. Oh, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Jalen, what kind of challenge do these Bengals wide receivers present to you guys on the secondary? Oh, I mean, just their playmaking ability. We all seen what Chase did at his time in um, at LSU, um, and just even his game one. Um, so I mean, just being able to limit him. Uh, T. Higgins a big target. Um, so I mean, definitely have to be able to be aggressive with him, um, and just try to get the ball out at the high points. Um, and then Boyd is a veteran. He's been doing it for some time. Um, he's kind of similar to Cooper Cup in in a way. I mean, just being able to really take away some of the option routes, take away, and just limit all of their playmaking ability for sure. What did you take away from watching the tape this week that you guys can take into this game against the Bengals? I mean, no mental laps at the end of the day. I mean, that's all that last Sunday was. So, I mean, just really locking in, knowing what our assignment is, taking the right keys, um, and playing ball. I mean, I'm not concerned with um, anything moving forward. It's just locking in and doing what we know we can do. What has the vibe been like with the defense coming off of a performance that has been largely uncharacteristic for you guys? Oh, I mean, as a defense, I feel like we're pretty solid. I mean, juiced up for another opportunity to be able to play. Um, I feel like from a defensive back standpoint, I mean, I don't know. I feel like we're real, real hungry for an opportunity just to get back, just to kind of shut people up in a sense. Because, I mean, I feel like people get it confused that we have playmakers, that we have guys that played at a high level for a very long time, and they let one opportunity, one situation that happened um, kind of clog their judgment or talk in a certain way. So, I mean, just for us, just about being just being short-minded and just coming back and bouncing back. So you think there have been too many like grand conclusions made about the Bears' defense based on last week? Is that, is that... I'm not going to say the defense. I'm going to say the secondary. I mean, from the jump. That's what everybody's been talking about. Um, what is the secondary going to be like, even for me? What is Jalen going to bring to the table? Is he ready to be CB1? What is Eddie going to do? What is Gip going to do? Just all these things you hear in the media, just what goes on, who talks about what. So, I mean, it's just another opportunity to get better. Jalen, last week a lot of the mental mistakes, there seemed to be a lot of mental mistakes on the defensive side of the ball. What do you do to fix mental mistakes? Mental mistake. I mean, it's nothing really you can do. I mean, if you ask us, if you ask the guys who made those mental laps what you're supposed to do, they'll answer the question 10 times out of 10. But I mean, in that moment, it's a lot going on. Guys are trying to read certain things. Guys are eyes in a certain spot. I mean, everybody wants to make a play. Sometimes you get caught in the wrong spot. So I mean, it's nothing you can really do outside of just take advantage and do better the next play. I mean, it's nothing too much to look at, to talk about. I mean. Everybody knew the mistake when we came to the sideline, but I mean, it's too late. Sure. You're named a captain this week. Do you feel like that's a great opportunity to now kind of prove that? Or what are you feeling about being named a captain after, you know, you've just spoken about wanting to prove something in the secondary? How do I feel? I mean, it doesn't really change anything to me. I mean, it's just about being who I am each and every day. Being a captain, not a captain, I'm going to bring the same energy I'm going to bring. My same leadership um, characteristics. So, I mean, I don't let the C on my chest or the going out for the coin toss affect anything I do. I feel like that would be a bad thing if I did. If it, if I allowed it to turn me up, I mean, I wasn't giving my all from the jump. So, I mean, I stay consistent to who I am. I'm going to go out and get better each and every day. Jimmy, do you have a play regular season home game in the NFL with the fans? Do you anticipate it'll be like? I hope it's like the Rams. I hope it's a lot of energy. I hope we get a lot of that momentum that they had. Their crowd was fired up when they were on defense. I mean, if our fans are better than than their fans, then it, I can imagine it being really loud um, and a lot of cheering going on for sure. How did that affect just the flow of the game? How did you find it to be different than last year when you know you were playing in front of empty stadiums a lot of times? I mean, for me, it's no difference. That's not. I mean. It's just crowd noise to me at the end of the day. So, I mean, 
only thing that it could affect is communication, just being able to hear each other. So I mean, just working on hand signals, just working on different alternatives to be able to hear our communication and things like that. But for from a playing standpoint, it's all the same to me. You mentioned last week, you mentioned the game last week being just a series of mental lapses. Was that not a cause for concern that it was that many mental lapses in the start of the uh, the season, or is this something you draw just chalk up to that and you move on? I mean, for me, it's life. I mean. Y'all not perfect. I'm pretty sure everybody in this room has mental lapses in some way, shape, or form. So, I mean, it's no different. At the end of the day, you know what you did wrong, and you still wake up the next day and you go at it. So, I mean, it's no different for us. I'll be a fool if I was to panic and start trying to be who, I, who I'm not. So, I mean, I know I'm not a fool, so I'm just going to keep my head down and keep grinding like I've been when we weren't making mental lapses, and I hope everybody else does the same. How did Sean decide to handle that when he got everybody together? What was his message? When? This week, what? What? Tuesday? I mean, really, just be who we are. Cause I mean, that wasn't that wasn't who we are. Having all the mental lapses. So, I mean, it wasn't even really too much to really talk about. It's just, hey, this is what we did wrong. We can't have it again. So, I mean, it wasn't no panic. It wasn't anything like that. It's just fix what needs to be fixed. You have a bunch of veterans on your defense who's, who have done this a lot. Huh? Does that? give you more faith that getting it fixed is, is an easier thing to do because they've done it over their careers? I mean, yeah, for me, I mean, I have no panic regardless if it's a rookie, if it's a 10-year vet. I mean, at the end of the day, we all here to keep playing. So, I mean, at the end of the day, just forget about it, keep getting better. I mean, that's the talk from the bottom to the top of the defense. Just keep moving, keep getting better, keep locking into the details um, and be the playmakers that we are.